Thank you so much for joining me on our next episode of Be The Drop Bacara. It's really exciting to have you here with me. Thank you. And I'm very keen to find out what your item of significance is and find out about how that connects you with your community. So if you could explain that, that'd be great. I can. So my item of significance is my bikini bottom that I, that I play in and compete in. Um, for me, this is, my, this is my item of significance because by wearing this and by competing, I feel like it's, it's taught me a lot. Um, and a lot of the things that I want to share with other people have come whilst wearing this bikini, or not this exact one, but you know, a version of. And I think, I think this is very special to me, and, and well, it's for a few reasons. I think the first one is obviously being green and gold and being Australian is a very important thing for me, and I take an immense amount of pride in being able to represent my country and, and do something that I love every single day. Um, and secondly, it's, it, for me, it represents so much opportunity and so much, um, value and so many lessons and so many learnings and so many hardships and so many different facets and different things that have come from being able to to chuck this bikini on that you know I think I'm very fortunate to have had and I think it's a really um, it's a really powerful learning mechanism for me it's been a really um, important part of my life that's for sure. Now that we know a little bit about how you're connecting with your community, can you just explain for us a little bit more about who your community is? Yeah, absolutely. My, my community is, is a whole range of different people. It ranges from corporate um, organisations that I go and speak at and share my story all the way through to you know, juniors that are just picking up a volleyball for the first time and, and other sporting teams that I feel through sharing my, sp my experiences and my story as a professional athlete, they hopefully can take something and, and there might be just a little bit somewhere along the way that they go, oh, that sounds, that sounds like something I want to try or that sounds like it would help me. Um, and I think, yeah, the, the community is very broad. It's very, um, it's very different, but I feel like the messaging across all of them is very similar. I'm really interested to know, now that we know a little bit about who your community is, how it is that you are actually a part of what unites them and brings them together? I think, I think the common theme across all of the different areas of the community that I engage with is that there's always a willingness to be better or to improve something or to find a better way of doing something. And I think initially that's what um, motivates people, I think, to reach out, to have anyone speak to them, but in, in particular myself. And um, I think it's that desire to hear someone else's story to connect with that and perhaps see another way of, of getting something done. And I think with, with sporting teams and with some of the athletes that I've worked with in a coaching perspective, it's, it's all about them obviously wanting to learn and be better and, and learning from someone that perhaps has done something that they want to do with their, with their sporting career. And I think I find that a very privileged position to be in because I really I enjoy sharing that and I enjoy being able to help other people achieve and, and do something really amazing with their life. And um, yeah, that's definitely a very consistent thing across athletes, teams and, and corporates as well. You've talked quite a bit about face-to-face -face communication and presenting. Uh, what other sorts of platforms and communications do you use and, and what do you find is the most effective communication method for within your community? I think the best way for me has always been face to face. Um, I think I'm able to, to talk to people and connect with people so much better when they're sitting in front of me or I'm sitting in front of them. And um, while that's not always, that's not always possible, you know, I have, I have social media, like everyone has social media these days. And I try and use that a little bit too, but it definitely doesn't feel the same. I don't, I don't feel the same connection as what I would if I was in front of someone. Um, and also, I've, you know, trying to write a little bit more and write on the website to kind of get some ideas out. But again, I feel like that's one step away from actually physically connecting with someone in front of me. Um, so I, I would prefer that if, if I ever got the option, I would sit down and I would, I would chat to someone in the same way that I would day to day if I wanted to catch up with a friend, I'd, I'd, we'd go and grab a coffee and we'd sit down face to face and chat versus having a phone call or, or whatever it is. I just, I think it's far more powerful and I think, um, Aside from just words, there's, there's body language, there's so much more going on. Thank you so much for joining me today, Bakara. In conclusion, I'd like if you can share with us 
Bakara's Be The Drop tip. So that's your top communication tip or advice. I think above all else, I would encourage everyone to, to speak their truth. And I think finding what's real for them and speaking that and almost speaking only that and not, not feeling the need to, um, to keep people happy by saying what you think you should say or, or saying what you think is the right thing. Um, I would encourage people to find out what the right thing is for them. And, and sometimes that takes a bit of time. I think some people can do it very easily and some people have a, have a bit more trouble with it. Um, but I think it's a super powerful thing to be able to really tap into what it is that's real for you and then to be able to share that. And maybe that's on social media, maybe that's face to face, maybe that's speaking in front of thousands of people. It, it doesn't, almost doesn't matter the platform, but I think being able to share and communicate in a way that's very real is always far more engaging than anything else. And I think everyone within them has a power to be able to connect and to, um, to help people and to encourage and engage with people and I feel like that comes from a place of being very true and being very real. Um, and I want that more, I want that for everybody more than anything, that they actually be able to find that and find that voice and f I guess find the power and the, um, the confidence that comes from being able to speak that to as many people as they want. Well, well that's a very beautiful notion and open and honest waterfall. I Absolutely. think that's gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thanks Amelia. <laughs>